I'm uh, Narendra Kapoor, and I'm visiting professor of neuropsychology here at UCL. And the simple message I want to get across to you is that as academics, we can contribute to reducing the gap between the rich and the poor, and that uh, following Gandhian principles can help us to uh, reduce that gap. And I'd like to start off with a paradox, and the paradox is a paradox of surplus. That uh, it's estimated that there are about a billion people that go hungry in the world, and yet there are a billion people who are classified as obese. And this uh, slide from India uh, puts that into stark focus. You have the obese lady passing by a poor, hungry uh, a beggar. And we all have to mind the gap uh, between the two. There are attempts, as in India, in this food bank scheme to try to use this paradox of surplus and to reduce the gap between uh, the rich and the poor by giving surplus food to the uh, needy. And this uh, food bank in uh, Delhi, for example, needs our, our support. Uh, there are other schemes, uh, and this was scheme by British Airways was a wonderful success. Uh, they got passengers to take a surplus change and donated that to UNICEF. They raised 17 million pounds in 10 years. So there is a clear need to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. There are ways in which we can exploit the paradox of surplus to do that. What we need then is a, a driving force to produce that change. And for that driving force, I look to my hero, Mahatma Gandhi. And he had basically three principles. He says God is truth, God is love, and God is self-sacrifice. And the subtitle of his autobiography was entitled My Experiments with Truth. So how, could you, how can we carry about, out experiments which embody these three uh, principles? I had written about applying Gandhi to science and medicine a few years ago. How could I put this into uh, a practice? So the idea was a conference kindness idea. The idea was to get surplus books, to uh, ship them to India, to sell them off cheaply, and the money that was raised to donate that to a local charity. That was the conference kindness idea. And so how do we get surplus books? Well, I had lots of books lying there, earlier editions, books I wasn't using, uh, books from publishers. I um, asked around friends and colleagues. I circulated members of my societies and got books. So we managed to get 60 or 70 books in uh, no time. So then the problem is how I'm going to ship the books to, uh, to India. Well, I sent some uh, in, uh, 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 boxes. I, I, when I went to my lecture tour, I got uh, some in the suitcase and, and took that along. I asked some lecturers who were going along in that lecture tour, take some. Some family and friends who were going to India around that time, uh, I, I got them to take some. So one way or the other, we were able to ship these books to India. And the opportunity again came earlier this year. I was giving uh, two lecture tours, one in Calcutta and one in Bangalore. And this one in Kolkata was organized by the University of Kolkata and the Head Injury Foundation of India. And this is the Cognitive Rehabilitation Workshop. This is the inauguration of it in Kolkata. And the second one was in uh, Bangalore. The World Federation of Neurology organized a uh, workshop uh, going over a few, uh, several days. And here you have the people just picking up and reading the books and buying them at a reduced rate. We sold them about one-tenth of the original price, between 100 and 1,000 rupees. That's uh, one pound to 12 pounds. And we sold them very easily in no time. And here again, uh, this is the uh, one more in, uh, 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 illustration of people uh, um, buying the books. The books that were left over, we auctioned them. And I'm just going to show you this auction now. Okay, it was a great feeling. You feel it across between Billy Graham 
uh, giving a sermon, and Steve Jobs trying to sell a, a new gadget here across between that. So wonderful feeling. And so in Calcutta, the uh, money that we raised, about 40,000 rupees, about 500 pounds, we donated that to the Acid Survivors Foundation of India. The headquarters is in Calcutta. And Acid Survivors are usually attractive young ladies who are horribly disfigured as a result of acid being thrown in their faces. And this is an example of uh, one young lady before and after uh, this tragedy fell on, on her. In uh, Bangalore, we distributed the money to a local dementia center, which is doing pioneering work uh, with Alzheimer's disease. We raised about 25,000 rupees there, about 300 pounds. So there you have it. That's the idea. Conference kindness with a triple whammy. We were able to implement these three Gandhian principles. The truth, we were able to uh, disseminate knowledge through books, uh, a love by uh, donating proceeds to charity and giving these books cheaply to students and to junior colleagues, and self-sacrifice. We were giving things that belonged to us, and we went to the time and trouble to ensure that this scheme, uh, scheme was a success. And uh, this idea can be generalized. Other conferences, other societies, each society could have a conference kindness officer who could organize this. It's not just uh, books that could be used. Could be um, minor bits of hardware, uh, minor uh, medical equipment, bits of software. Um, and um, uh, you can suggest this at the next conference that you uh, uh, go to. Um, I've written a couple of articles on this, which you can find on my website, thebetternhs.com. And uh, last but not least, if you engage in these altruistic activities, as this article shows, you can actually live a few years longer. Thank you.